Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I make these guys. There's this one, and this one, with this one. Sorry about the electrical box background. <laughs> the, the background of this is uh, clear. So there's that one. So I'm going to show you step by step how we got here. Before we start, you need to make sure you have a nice flat surface. Um, make sure your table is level. I've put in some big ceramic tiles under here because I want to make sure it's really level so that the resin doesn't drift when I pour it down. I am going to pour it right on this uh, green garbage bag surface because I don't think it's going to stick on here. And um, we'll see what happens on that. Uh, usually I use like a cellophane, you know, like you, that people wrap uh, gift baskets and stuff in. And it works pretty good most of the time, but weird every once in a while it sticks. So anyway, I'm going to try this. Hopefully it works. And in terms of, you know, kind of safety things, you can wear a respirator. Um, I'm in a great big room with really high ceilings and well ventilated and this particular resin, magic resin, doesn't have any smells and it's, you know, apparently low VOC and all that. So I'm not going to wear that today, but you can get those and if you're in a small area uh, or if you have any, you know, asthma or any sensitivities, you should definitely wear it. Everybody's different on this one, but, you know, use your, uh, use your own uh, gut instinct and, you know, be safe. Um, okay. And gloves. I'm not a glove wear, as you may have seen in my other <laughs> videos. I always stick my hand right in the paint, but for resin, you absolutely need gloves. So I have my latex gloves. I'm on the right way. There we go. And then I'm using magic resin. I like it. It's a it's good quality and it's a reasonable price, and it seems to work really well for me. So what I'm going to do first is mix up the resin. I'm going to start with part A, which is, again, I can never tell one's the hardener, one's the resin. Doesn't matter. Part A. And I reuse my cups. I reuse everything until it disintegrates in my hands. <laughs> so I'm going to reuse those cups. So I'm going to use a fair bit today because I want to make quite a few flowers. I'll probably make a couple of smaller wall hangs out of these. I want to do poppies today. So I pour the first one in, the thicker one in first, because then it's easier to get the exact amount of the thinner one. And my little cups have nice little lines on them so I can get a good idea of how much to pour in. Check once, check twice, check three times. Make sure you've got exactly the equal amount of each resin. Otherwise, you might have a problem with it not curing properly, not hardening properly. So there's my resin. I'm just going to check again, make sure I've got exactly the same amount. And yeah, I'm good. So then I pour it into a container to mix them together that doesn't have any ridges in it because you want to be able to scrape the sides. So first I pour in the thin one, scrape it all out, get it all out. it's easier to get the thin one off the sides and I kind of pour it from a distance and that starts the whole mixing process. Get it all out. This is 
the thicker one is kind of like like honey. Let's see, pretty thick. Um, <clears throat> as the weather starts getting cooler, I will likely start like I'll pour my my individual cups and I'll set them in some warm water or hot water, not boiling, but hot water to heat the resin up a bit, and you get uh, less bubbles if you heat up the resin if it's cold out. But during the summer, I haven't found that I really need to do that. It seems to be fine. Don't get too many bubbles. Get it all out. Okay, that's that. Put those aside for another day. Okay, and then you mix. You mix for about three to four minutes, minimum three. I usually go four. Sometimes more because I lose count. <laughs> so you just keep mixing and keep scraping the sides like that. So we're going to do that for about four minutes and I'll be back. Okay, and we're back. Okay, so we're all mixed. So now I'm going to tint the resin and what I am going to use is for uh, I want to make nice red poppies so what I've been using for the tint whenever I can whenever I can find the right colors I use food coloring I find it works really nice it gives a nice clear translucent so I'm gonna and I want them really red so you can put up to 10% pigment with the resin 10% pigment 90% resin and red's going to be my main color, so I'm going to use the most, most of the color is going to be red. Uh, probably going to use a bit more because I only need a little bit of the other colors. So let's see if that gives me a red enough red, because I would like it to be really red. So nice red poppies. So I'm just stirring that up. You can see the color coming up. Oh. I can tell right now I'm going to want more, more red. I want them to be a nice rich color. So I'm going to put a little more in. Let's see how that works. I'm going to get that really mixed in well so that you don't have any pieces of color that's not mixed in. No, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Pretty. That's pretty good, but I think I'm going to go even more wild and put a bit more in. I really want to try and get a deep red vibrant red and I think that is going to do I don't want to go too crazy so I'm just mixing that in really well until I can't see any more pigment any more little spots of pigment okay I'll leave that for a minute oh, that looks gorgeous. Can you see that? And then the other color that I want to use, and I won't need too much of this, for the center of the poppies I want to use um, some purple. I'm just using Desire's um, acrylic paint. Purple, the beautiful purple. And I need a little bit less of this. That should do it. I don't need too much paint in in here, because I'm going to have to dip that in. That should do it. Ooh, look at that. I think that's going to be enough. I'm just going to put that in the centers. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, maybe just a smidgen more. Doesn't take 
take much uh, pigment to, to color your resin at all. Wow, gorgeous. And then I want a little bit of black. Again, I'm using the Sarah's Black. I may need even less of this. back a little bit of resin. I always do that just in case there's something I end up needing a little bit more of or you need to touch up. So let's put some black in here. It's going to be nice. There we go. Mix that in well. And so now what I'm going to do is just kind of pour circles. These tiles, there's a little crease in between the tiles, there and there, so I don't want to pour on that because it probably would be okay, but I don't want it to kind of run and be, become uneven. I'm just going to give that another little stir. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to pour some circles. Keeping in mind, I'm going to pour in the middle a bit of this, so it's going to spread out a bit. And you just do different sizes. Leave yourself enough room in between them. Okay, there's that crease. So I'm going to come over here. smaller. I do one a little bit bigger over here. <clears throat> there we go. I got room over here. Put a little bit smaller one. Oops. Can you see? It kind of looks big. Oh, well, that's what's wrong. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. I had it on somehow. I got it on magnified. I don't know why. I don't know. Where's that crease? Right there. So I'm going to put one right there. I think I can get away with a little one in here. Let's go over here. checking the paper, the, uh, it's a green garbage bag there to uh, make sure there's no wrinkles, see in there, because it won't spread out evenly if there's little wrinkles in the thing. Okay, and let's do one more over here. This cup I will not be able to use again <laughs> once you've got the colored and resin in it. Then it's done. Beauty. Okay, so now I'm going to pour some of the purple in the middle, and that's going to make the rest of it spread out a little bit. There we go. purple left I might make a few 
just purple flowers. So it's nice and flat, so nothing's really drifting, so that's good news. Okay, and I have some purple left, so I'm going to just do just a couple little purple flowers over here. I'll put little black centers in them. You're not going to just throw it out, that's for sure. There we go. These purple ones might be kind of nice. So I have some black left. Over here, we're making a black flower. Recycle. Can't use those again. Okay. All right. So, next thing I want to do is a sparkles. I want to put a little bit of sparkle in the middle. Um, so, I'm going to take my gloves off now because I'm mostly done messing with the resin. Resin messing. So, I'm going to get my gold sparkles and just put a little bit in the middle. Oops. They're going to fly all over the place. It's okay. This is, the sparkles are totally optional and you can add them later too. When you're, oh, I forgot to put black in the middle of that. Oh, well, I'm going to add a little bit of black in there. Just a little bit, a little bit of bling. I'm kind of curious to see how that black one's going to turn. I must say, I'm curious. You can always add sparkles later. Um, you'd have to put a bit more resin on them. Okay, and there's a bunch of sparkles on the floor. Okay, and then the last step for now is to torch it. So you want to get the bubbles out. It's a bit tricky because you're going to get the, pla the plastics there and you, ideally you don't want to scorch the pla plastic, but it's pretty hard. I don't know if you can see the bubbles disappearing. too bad with the black you can't see the color of the resin but they'll have to be a surprise for tomorrow when we come and pick them up so I'm just going around at least 
three inches away, trying not to hit the black plastic too much. I don't think it'll hurt it. Can you see the bubbles disappearing? And they don't have to be perfect circles. You, you will be able to shape them a bit after if you want to. But I mean, flower petals aren't perfect circles anyway, so. Oh, I think these are gonna be nice. Can you see the bubbles disappearing? I think you can. Yeah, next time I do this, I'm gonna have to do it, get a white garbage bag to put it on so you can see. Oh, by the juice. Second torch on standby. I'm just going around and I'll be doing this. I won't make you sit through all this, but I'm just going around make sure you're not, not don't get too close to the resin because you'll scorch it and then you'll have a bit of a problem. So this is just going to sit for about I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on it because different temperatures, it sets differently, but I don't want it to be completely set, but probably five or six hours, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, see you soon. So just another little thing I wanted to show you before these are set. If you find that it's, you don't, if it's getting a weird shape or a jagged edge or something, while it's still wet, you can still adjust it a bit, like this one's got a bit of a loopy loop in it. So you can just, either with a popsicle stick or a toothpick, you can go around and kind of smooth the edges a bit. You can do this probably for about an hour. And again, just keep checking every once in a while, give it a little light torching, get any bubbles out. I'm just, just kind of shaping it a little bit. I don't mind if they're a little bit wavy, because like I say, flowers are like that. But if you see any of the circles going a little bit like really wonky, you can shape it a little bit for about an hour. You can still do this before it gets too tacky. So I'm just going to be keeping an eye on it for a little while. See if I want to play a little bit and just round my circles a little. And sometimes it'll drift a bit or the sparkles will get a little bit drift too much you can just pick them up move them back into the center so you got a little bit of fussing time and again every once in a while you want to give it a bit of a torch get any bubbles out like that okay see you in about five or six hours one more little babysitting tip. I just want to show you what you can do if you see your flowers are kind of getting a weird shape or an edge that you don't like. Just get a popsicle stick. You can do this for about an hour. And just kind of run it around and reshape it. Or if you're like my plastic underneath is bunching a little bit and making it uneven, so I just kind of spread it out a bit. There's a bit of a jagged edge. It's fine. I, I'd be able to just kind of trim that off later once it's cured. But you have this about an hour to play with it and just kind of, you know, maneuver any shapes that you want a little bit. Everything looks pretty good. I just wanted you to see how, what you can do, you know, if you find your shop, flowers are kind of getting a shape that you don't like or there's you know one area that's you know sticking way out you can kind of bring it back in you don't want to make it perfect circles because that's what not what mother nature does so that one i don't know if you can see here kind of got a little of a weird edge i could leave it but i just want to show you what you can do so you just kind of run it around the edge edge outside just kind of shape it a bit and then i Come back and do a little bit of torching every once in a while. If I see a little pocket of bubbles, just give it another little torch. Like that. Okay, we're getting there. 
Okay, so we are about five, maybe five and a half hours later since I poured it. And it is certainly not hard, but you, I just kind of test it to see if it's tacky. It's a tiny bit tacky, but I'm not leaving fingerprints. So it's, a, it's about right, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. You got a bit a two hour window, but I think it's fine. Uh, for me to separate them now so what I do is I just go around carefully and cut them out and you want to make sure this is a bit tricky sometimes you want to make sure that you don't let them fold back on each back on themselves you know because they're not completely set yet and it will stick and you have a bit of a mess I've ruined more than one this way so just kind of pick them up like that I do pick them up and I'm going to just set them aside for now until I cut them all out. Ah! Okay, so you just kind of just be careful that you don't let the, the, uh, the, the uh, in this case, the green garbage bag flip back on top of them as you're cutting them because it will stick and you have a bit of a mess at this stage. So you just kind of go around. Just leave about a half of an inch. I do have some concerns that this green garbage bag is not going to come off nicely on the back, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out. I'm going to show you whether I mess it up or not. <laughs> and you'll, uh, it'll stick in your mind. But yeah, I'm going to have to see. I'll have to wait and see. But anyway, for now, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around and cut them all out, and then I'll come back and show you what's next. Oh, I don't know if you missed that because I'm uh, not sure if my camera was on. Anyway, here we go. So I've got all those pieces all cut out. They're laid out over there. And then I have some, well, it's stuck now, but it won't be stuck <laughs> here. If this is the heavy, um, the heavy garbage bag, green garbage bag, heavy duty. It's much thicker. And uh, I know from trying it and learning the hard way, these ones won't stick, <laughs> she says with confidence. So what I do then is I pick up those ones that I cut out and I lay a piece of this other green garbage bag over top. And then I flip them over on top of something that's gonna give them some shape. Normally I have some nice uh, styrofoam bowls that are the perfect size, but I'm out of them and I don't have time to go and get them. My resin will harden on me. So I'm gonna, you know, use whatever I've got. These are, um, what do you call them? Lamp, lamp shades, you know, for a chandelier. So I've got it, the, that's the, that's what I poured on. That's the lighter gar green garbage bag that I'm hoping that will come off. This is the heavier one. And you just kind of set it down and just kind of push it down a little bit. It's going to fall a little bit on its own. You just kind of let it fall a little bit. Here's the other one. Just put that on top like that. Don't need to press it down or anything. And let's just, just kind of give it a push in a couple of different areas there to get almost like a bowl effect, you know? And it's going to, it's going to, Go down a little bit further, and that's all fine. So I've got a bunch of different sizes here, so I'll do all my bigger ones first. So here's another bigger one. And they certainly don't have to be all the same shape. Like if you have a bunch of different things, different lampshade sizes, that's fine because flowers kind of show, you know, go in different uh, shapes anyway. So I'm going to put that on top, turn it upside down, let's put this one over here. I'm not going to push it down too much, just a little bit. Gravity's going to pull it down a little bit more, but I don't want them to be like bowls. I don't want them to be too, you know, scrunched. Let's get another big one. I'm anxious to see how that black flower turns out. <laughs> Halloween's coming up. Maybe I can use it for Halloween. Oops. There we go. There's the other one. I think this one I'm going to put on this. This is just a little, whatever, three ounce cup. And that way, 
the flowers are gonna flare out a bit more, you know, the petals, will, they won't curl down as much. There we go. Do some of those. Where's my biggest one? Um, that's a pretty big one. too I'm not going to use this black on the bottom anymore because for one you can't see the color and uh, you know that's a bit of a problem and also I can't see now where the purple was as opposed to the red because ideally I would like to line the purple circle and a little bit of black and sparkles in the middle but I can't see where it is now so it's going to be a surprise down there. I'll push that one down a little bit more than the others just to get a bit more of a flowery shape. bigger one but I don't have one so you grab whatever you can find my husband bought this he wants me, he wants me to paint it so right now it's going to shape my poppy <laughs> you improvise use what you, whatever you can find once the resin's flowing you gotta work with what you got <laughs> there little guy give it a little push So there's nothing more I have to do with these today. That's it. So that, you know, that takes, process takes about half an hour to do. And then I just let them sit overnight. And I come back in the morning and have the big reveal. I'm really curious if this black is gonna come off. But you know what, if it doesn't come off, because it's the back of the flower, where this, the thinner garbage bag is, if I have trouble getting it off, I can just torch it off and it'll kind of, it's plastic, so it'll kind of disappear. And it's the back of the flower, so it should be okay. Okay, we'll see, we'll see tomorrow. Okay, everybody, it's the next morning. Yeah. So, cross your fingers, and your toes, and your eyes. And let us see if it works. Oh, oh, it's 
coming off. It's coming off. It's coming off. Oh, I was worried. <clears throat> this is the stuff. This is the bottom one that I was worried about. Look at that. Came right off. Yay. Oh, and this one I know is going to come off. Here we go. Okay, so I'm looking at this one and I see some problems. See, that was the problem the center isn't in the center. But the happy news is I can fix that. All I need to do is re-pour some little bit of resin in the middle. So I can fix that one. So that's that one. Let's see this one. I'm going to save these, these, because <laughs> I can use those again. Look at that, it comes right off. So the edges, I will clean those up a little bit. It's okay. I think, I think this was, I had a little bit of resin left, so I just poured this one with just red. So I'll put a little bit of purple in the middle. This is fun. It's like Christmas. Unwrapping gifts. Now, I mean, it's okay, but it's a little bit cloudy. Anyway, we'll see. Let's try this guy. Save that and that. I'm not going to save the, the thin the thin stuff is because I don't think it would use again very well. Yeah, that one I'll have to trim the edges quite a bit. Yeah, they're still a tiny bit, well most of them are pretty hard, but the little still a little bit pliable, so if I needed to, if I wanted to reshape them a bit. Here's a purple one. Oh, I want to see the black one. <laughs> so this this uh, gar garbage bag is not making it as smooth as I would like, so I'm not sure why that is. I might have to go back to the cellophane I was using. Again, see, I'm not in the middle, so I'm going to have to touch those up. Sticky bit. There you go. Yeah, so I'm going to shape those a little with my with my knife. Boy, it comes off nice though. Thank heavens I was worried about that. Need those anymore. Abagio. See what this little guy looks like. Yeah, you see that's more shiny, but this um, the thinner garbage bag is giving it's the back of the flower, so again it's okay, but it's you see how I'm my centers aren't in the center. Pretty, pretty, pretty. That one's pretty good. Oh, the black one. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's black. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this thing. I think maybe I'll bend it, I'll shape it some more and I'll make a tiny little bowl, put your rings in by your bed or something. I don't think I like black flowers. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll probably put a little bit of purple in the middle of that one.
Yeah, I think I might, I might go back to my cellophane. I got better results with that. It, sometimes it it's, was sticky and it didn't come off very well, but it did give me a nice smooth finish all around. Yeah. Oh, where's the, oh, the skeleton one. Where'd that go? I guess I already took that off. That. I think this is the last one. So I am going to mix up a little bit more resin. Yeah, I really do want to oops, define those centers a little better. So I'm gonna do that. But I won't I won't video that because you saw it. it's the same thing. I'm just going to pour make some more resin, probably purple, maybe a little bit of black, and uh, just fix up my centers a little bit, make them more interesting. And the other thing I'm going to do, and I'll show you that really quickly, I think, I think. Is where there's edges that need to be cleaned up. What I do is I have this uh, thingy, box cutter, I guess. I don't know what it's called. And I heat up the blade with my culinary torch. And then that makes it really easy to just trim it. So I just go, I'll just go around. It just kind of cuts right through it. I could probably, because this is so thin, you know what might be easier? I might be able to just, yeah, because it's still a little bit soft. Yeah, that's easier. I'm just going to trim off the dodgy edges. Yeah, that works good. That's better. Gives me a nicer edge. So like this is a little bit thin there. Just go like that. Yeah, that works. A lot quicker. If the resin is thicker, then the scissors don't work very good. But this is going to work just fine. Be a lot quicker. I'm just taking off all the weird kind of spillover things. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to pour a little bit more resin in. And I guess I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow now until I show you the last step of putting it all together. Okay, we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, I'm back and it's just about half an hour later because I was thinking there's no reason why I can't um, assemble the flowers and you know, like in the wall hanging and then touch them up at the same time once I've got them placed. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I put down my cellophane this time. So just that, you know, dollar store cellophane that you get. And what I do is I get a wire, just picture hanging wire, and I double it and make it into kind of a circle. And then I lay that down where I want the top, you know, roughly. So the wall hanging is gonna kind of go, try to see the cellophane, kind of go, you know, like this. I'm gonna, this one I'm gonna do kind of long. I, I should mention, if you're doing a wide picture, or a wide wall hanging, it can cause you problems hanging it because it'll kind of bend a bit and you kind of have to brace it. Like that one, sorry, <laughs> you can't see where I'm pointing. <laughs> but um, you, like if, if it's really wide, you'll need to put like a piece of wood or something in behind, just a little strip, just to brace it to keep it from kind of warping when you hang it. So this one I'm gonna do long ways, 
so it, it'll be fine. I won't have to brace it. Shouldn't have to. I don't pretty sure that the ones I've done in the past I didn't have to. So what I did, I've mixed up a bunch more resin, but a cup and a bit maybe. And I put a little bit of a, a green food color in because it's going to be for the background and kind of for some stems coming down. So just a pale green. You could do any color you wanted really. You could do it darker, but I like the look of it just being a little translucent and light green. So what I'm going to do is just pour it and make sure I get it over those wires just like that and I'm just going to kind of pour it. It's got to be pretty much solid there so that you have, you'll be able to, to attach the flowers. And then I want to do a couple of just strips like that down just to make kind of, you know, little stemmy type things. Do one more over here. Don't want them to be too uniform. That's good. And then I'll put the rest of this green around. And also you'll be able to shape those stems again the same way with your scissors or with the knifey thing. So that's all my green. I have enough flowers I likely won't be using them all in this wall hanging because this is going to be fairly relatively smaller. Okay so what I usually do to fuss around a little bit to place the flowers so pick the flowers that you want to be kind of I usually put the biggest ones in first so I'll be messing with this a bit I just kind of press them down a bit and let's do this guy oh, I don't like that little thing there so sometimes you can just kind of hide little things that you don't like I'll stick him there for now and let's do, let's do the, oops, let's do this one, and put that out like that, maybe a bit like that, and um, no, I'm not going to put any of the purple ones in there, I might save that for something. There's a nice one for there. I don't want it to be too, I don't want it to be square kind of thing. So I'm just gonna play around a little bit. That's good. So I'm pressing them down into the resin. So they will combine with the resin that's there. What do we got here? Let's do do I have any more small ones? The rest of them are bigger. Don't like that flower too much. Here's a nice one. You can kind of overlap them a bit. Maybe do that guy like that. Unless they slide around, you know, you can I wish I had another little one. I would like to put a little one there. That's kind of big. But you know what? I'm going to stick it in there. Ah, no, I'm not. Okay, I think I'm going to work with what I have here and just kind of move them around in the way that I like. If there's any parts of a flower you don't really like, spin it around. I keep wanting to put something there, but... Mm-hmm. 
But this one, there's no center on it. Okay, no, I'm gonna leave it because I don't. A small one would look nicer, but I don't got one. Unless I cut this one down. No, but it's not curvy enough. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. So now I've got a little bit more of the black resin. Actually, you know what? I don't need much on this. Um, because there's no circle in there, so I'm just gonna put. A little bit of black in there. The rest of these are not bad, actually. Let's put a little bit more purple in the middle there. And a little black center. And that's gonna that's gonna spread out. I'm going to torch it a little bit and then I will add some sparkles. Now the other thing is that I uh, think I mentioned the, the finish was a little bit matte and I wasn't crazy about that so I got this, I got a little bit of clear resin left and uh, a crummy old paintbrush that's definitely going to have to go in the garbage. So I'm just going to go around and shine it up. Just kind of put some more resin on it. That'll give me, well, it's already, I can see, it's giving me a nice shinier finish, you know, because I just didn't like that garbage bag was giving me a, a matte finish, and that's not what it was after. So I'm just going to go through and shine it up. And some of this resin is going to run down to the middle a bit, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt it. I don't know if you can see, but that just shines it up. It doesn't hurt it. It makes it a bit stronger, too. Like that. So I'm going to go around and do that. And then I'll just keep an eye on it. I'm going to have to torch torch that a bit. I didn't worry about torching the, um, the green in behind because it doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it. So that, those flowers are pressed down on that wire, so that's going to all harden, and the wire will be hardened in there, and it should be fine, we'll see, usually if that works, I shouldn't have to reinforce it at all. Now this, that's the other problem when you torch, when you torch the, um, on the cellophane, it kind of crinkles, so I'm not sure if I'm going to have a problem with that, I'll have to keep an eye on it. I might have to, sometimes what I end up doing is I pour stems separately, let them harden, and then just attach them to the back. So anyway, I'm going to go and paint these flowers up, and then I'll put a few more sparkles in those new centers that I just put in, and uh, tomorrow it should be all done. Okay, let's see you tomorrow, for real this time. So there it is, and next morning, and turned out fine. Um, I had a bit of a struggle with the cellophane, um, with the stems when I torched it, it kind of crinkled up. So, you know, that's one of those things that are kind of, I think the, the best thing to do is make sure you don't have a lot of bubbles in your resin before you pour it, and then you don't have to torch it so much once it's down on the cellophane. But all in all, worked out pretty good. I still have a bunch of flowers flowers left. Well, that's the other wall hanging, but underneath, hiding underneath, <laughs> there's a bunch of uh, flowers left, so I may put those on a mirror. That's another thing you can do. I'm going to go show you that. Hold on a sec. It's going to be a little hard to see. Look at my painty shoes back there, but there's a mirror 
and I essentially did the same thing. I made the flowers. That's too many reflections. And then I poured some resin directly on the mirror and, um, you know, did a few little embellishment things like poured a little bit of resin there. You can see a little loop-de-loop -loop and a few little dots to make it look like water and put a few stones in there as well. So if you have an old mirror kicking around, you can play with that too with this. Sorry about all the reflections and everything. But anyway, just to give you an idea of something else you can do. Like that. Okay. Well, I hope you'll give this a try. It's fun. So many different things you can do with resin. There's lampshades you can do with resin. Another lampshade thing you can do. So many different things to play with. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you give it a whirl. And please do that, all that stuff. What is it like? Subscribe and all that stuff. <laughs> that really helps. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye for now.